this is World News Today from me, Nick Gowing. The latest sport in about 20 minutes, and before that, the business in detail. Well, for children under five in South Asia, especially in India, there is still a greater chance than anywhere in the world of being undernourished. Worldwide, the number is 129 million, 200 million if children stunted by not having enough food are included. Well, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, says despite he healthy levels of economic growth in many countries, there is little improvement. These latest figures by UNICEF were gathered in 144 countries across the world. In 104 of those countries, 5% or more of all children are underweight. You can see them there in orange. The rates are highest in India, in Bangladesh, Timor-Leste, and Yemen. Here, more than 40% of children are underweight. Well, why, despite the push for improvement, is nothing better in India. Here's our South Asia correspondent, Chris Morris, with more details. Across South Asia, young children are suffering from a chronic lack of the right food at the right time. More than 80 million are badly undernourished, a higher number than in the whole of the rest of the world. The first two years of life, in particular, are critical. The figures for South Asia are shocking. In five countries in the region, more than 40% of under fives are undernourished. The highest figure is in Afghanistan, 59%. In India, it's 48%. But that means more than 60 million children in just one country are at risk. Vibrant economic growth over the last few years in India has had little impact in reducing undernutrition or child mortality. Children who don't get enough nutrients in the first years of life are more likely to die from illnesses such as diarrhea or malaria. If they survive, they will find it harder to learn and to grow. The UNICEF report says strong leadership at the highest levels in South Asia is now needed urgently. If countries in the region are to break the cycle and make a lasting difference. Chris Morris, BBC News, Delhi. There, let's go to India, having had that report from our correspondent Chris Morris, to Sarah Crow, who's head of communications for UNICEF, who've just compiled this report. Sarah Crow, thanks for standing by uh, while the president was speaking. You're in a city, I was in that city a few hours ago, listening to those who are doing extraordinarily well in this economic development, 8%, 10%. There are you talking about increased numbers, halfway towards the Millennium Development Goals, who are undernourished, the kids under five. Why is there this contradiction in the country where you are? Well, that's the great South Asian paradox. It's not unique to any one country. There are five countries in, uh, amongst the top 24 in the world, and those five countries are in South Asia. You've named some of them. They're India's neighbors, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Nepal, and Afghanistan. All five of these countries have rates of more than 40%. And it's that great enigma that economic growth is assumed to trickle down and to make a difference. Two-year-olds don't decide on how a GDP gets, gets broken up. And economic growth alone will not and cannot make a lasting difference. What's needed now is strategic nutritional interventions for young girls and for under two-year-olds. That's the only thing that's going to make a difference. So strong political leadership, indeed, at the hallowed houses of parliament and also at dinner tables so that pregnant women and mothers and girls in particular are fed well and fed first. Often they're fed last and therefore they're neglected. So it's about, it's about those kinds of interventions. It's not just about food and it's not just about money. Those kinds of interventions will be the only thing that will really turn this around. Sarah Crow, Head of Communications for UNICEF in Delhi, thanks for joining us live here on World News Today.